What's poppy ass? The corny ass nigga Triller from the 61 motherfucking 5. And before we get into the motherfucking video, I want you niggas to make sure you hit that like button and I want you bitches to put your titty on that motherfucker. Now, before we. Oh, shit. Okay, now that I got the lotion on my nigga, let's get to these thoughts. Well, first, let's get to the thought. So, <sighs> see what y'all done. See what y'all, y'all niggas have allowed these, fi you know who's to blame for this shit? You niggas that be under these comment sections hyping up these bitches. These bitches don't be all that. Now, Selena Powell is this generation's superhead. And she basically just went on No Jumper and just exposed it all. And No Jumper, you said some suspect, suspect shit, my nigga. You said some suspect shit. So anyway, she goes on No Jumper and she starts spewing shit about who she fucked. She says she could fuck Kanye West if he would have went to fucking Colorado. This hey, Whoever from Colorado, if you a rapper coming up, stop. We, we don't want to hear no shit. Because y'all advocating this shit. We don't want to hear not a goddamn thing from y'all. Not one not one bar. Because we already know how this shit going to go. We know how it's going to go. We don't want to hear shit from y'all. Fuck it. So anyway. She says she can fuck Kanye West. The bitch says she fucked Chief Keith. Who else she says she fucked? NBA young boy. She also says. <sighs> look, I'm not. Look, let me just play this clip of her talking about G Herbo. Herbo. So anyway, he was like, yo, like, I don't give a fuck if you on your peer, like, suck my dick. And I was like, okay. And so he sucked his dick. And his dick is super fucking big. So I was like, oh my God, like, I can't do it. Like, sorry. G like, Herbo I got can't. a thing on him. <laughs> oh, nigga, you gay. <laughs> okay. I mean, seriously. Seriously, how, how is bitches like this able to prosper? You ever think about that shit? You know, you know, like, you know, there's an old woman somewhere that been going to church for years and years and years, but she's still fucked up. She barely be having enough money to get by. You know, she give a last $10 to the goddamn offering at the church. Why is she in fucked up situations? But a bitch like this can flourish through the industry. And not just the industry, just flourishing life. Like, regardless of what you say, she getting money. So when, when motherfuckers say life ain't fair, you can look at this and be like, God damn it, life really ain't fair because this bitch really getting her money. Now, can we blame her? Yes, she's a thought. That, I don't give a fuck. Always blame the thought. Always blame the thought. Uh, the woman is the blame. We starting this shit right. Listen. They always try to blame the man first. We're not doing that. The woman's getting the blame from now on. Whatever ha uh, Whoa. 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 Now, when it come to raping and bitches getting killed and raped and sexually assaulted, I'm not saying that. But little situations like this where bitches is... You get what I'm saying. Because I know how niggas like to be a fucking article. YouTuber says, no, I ain't say a goddamn thing. I mean, but I say it. I wouldn't give a fuck. But I'm not saying that. But all I'm saying is that this thought is able to flourish through the industry because these niggas keep fucking with her. But anyway, I'm trilling from the 6-1 motherfucking 5 and I'm out.